was wrong. Rewrote the song. Thoughts become action. Tell me what's happening. Wish your mind wrapped in. Wrapped around. Wrapped, wrapped around. Wrapped, wrapped around. Wish Welcome to FM Nation. And you're listening to Jamie and uh, we're watching the Palmer Resurrection. Uh, it's been a while. It's been maybe a week or so. Week and a half maybe since the last episode. Um, that's basically just be <laughs> because the Euros have been on. So I've been kind of just busy watching those, and then been up all night watching the watching the uh, Copa America as well. And I've just been kind of sleeping and going to work and watching football. So I've not really done any, not really played football manager over the past week or so. So we're getting back into it. Um, that little break's given me a bit, little bit of hunger to kind of come back and do it again. So I'm happy to be back, and we are back. And I'm glad to say that we're playing Serie B football this season in the Palmer Resurrection. Um, quickly, before we get into the episode, um, I'd like to just say th thank you, a very big thank you to all the people that have been watching. I know it's not many, but I'm really grateful for the people who have been watching and also the people who have been um, connecting with me on social media. Um, so, I mean, on Facebook, we've on my Facebook group we have 59 likes which has been gradually uh, adding it's been gradually growing over at each day um, since, I, since I started it and on Twitter we have 99 followers as well so on Facebook we've got 59, 59 likes on the page I would love it to get to 60 so even just if one person who watches this that hasn't already liked the page please go to the link in the description below and click on the Facebook page leave me a wee like on the Facebook page, it would mean a lot to me and just let help me get to 60 and with Twitter as well, I would love it, I would absolutely love it to be able to get to 99, uh, sorry 100 followers, I'm at 99 so all I need is one more follower, it would be absolutely amazing honestly guys, it would mean so much to me um, so click on the links in the description if you're not already following me on social media and click on the links and follow me and like the pages if you're not already doing it, it would really mean a lot to me um, and again, thanks for the people that are already there, and um, the guys who are watching this. Um, so, and also, actually, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel as well, and you'll get updates for the for the next episodes. Um, so we will get into the episode now with that out of the way. Uh, and I think the first thing that we that we need to really do, I think, is go over the transfers. Um, we'll go over the transfers quickly. We'll have a quick look at the squad here. You know, it's not changed much in terms of goalkeepers. We've got still got Bassi, sadly, you know. Um, there's not been much change in the squad. That all the important players are still there that from the ones we had last season. We'll come in. Transfer history. We'll have a look at who went out. Quite a lot of players went out. <laughs> Um, well, you know, like Tornagi, who was our third choice goalkeeper, but he was our first choice in the first season. Tonucci, the captain, he's the big one. Tonucci, he left the captain. I just thought he probably wasn't good enough for this level, so I just let him go. His contract ran out, so we just let it run out. Goalkeeper Chris Dapzomers is away as well, and these guys are just really, they're not worth mentioning because they weren't, never really played a big part in the team. Paolo Cannavaro left. He didn't play as big a part in the team as I thought he would, so we just let his contract run out, um, and there's really no one else to really to really mention apart from Francesco Forte, the, the our big target man. Never really lived up to what I was hoping he would either, um, and we've got a few guys out in loan. Nicolo Mol Molinaro, who's kind of he's been. He had quite a lot of potential in the first season, second season, but he never really lived up to it. Beltrami, who's a right back, had a little bit of potential. Hopefully him going out on loan, he can maybe fulfil his potential a little bit. Um, Gravilon, another guy who's got a bit of potential. Di Mariano, you know, all these guys, young guys, are most of them are just kind of guys who've got a bit of potential, so they're out on loan. This is the guy I'm hoping really really uh, reaches his potential by going out and loan. Alassane Sword, the guy who came through the 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 um, the 
youth intake and he is he's played a game for us he has played a game for us but I'm hoping that he'll go down to that, that level and play more often for the team that he's on loan at Martina Franca um, but that's the players that went out so we'll have a quick look at the players who've come in we've signed Antonio Matera on a free transfer he's a left midfielder He's still like a, a young prospect, a hot prospect, I would say. He's not really going to play a lot. He's uh, under 20. He's, a, he's in the under 20s, but he's 21 years old. But he's on loan at L'Aquila. So we signed him and signed him on loan. Because he knew, I thought he wasn't, I knew he wasn't really going to play much for us. Because we've got some good left midfielders in the team. We managed to get the guy that we had on loan last season. Fjord, Antonio Fiordalino had him on loan last season. He played very well for his head in. Average rating of 7.25, uh, sorry, 7.27. Uh, and he played 23 games for us in the charge for the for the league title. Uh, we brought him in on a free transfer because pa Palermo, the team that we had him on loan from, let him go. So we snapped him off on a free. Um, you need to excuse me, I've got a wee bit of a runny nose. I've had a wee bit of cold over the weekend. Uh, Lucas Castro, we signed him. He's a right, well, he's a kind of inside forward slash right winger slash attacking midfielder, shadow striker. So he's he's very very versatile. He was uh, he's he was at Kievo on loan at Rosario Centro. Uh, he's got Serie A experience, you know. So that's that's a bo that's a big bonus for us coming to play in the Serie B. Uh, you know, you can see he's got some good attributes there. He's got the 16 dribbling uh, techniques, good. The passing's not the greatest. Um, considering that he's, his best position is like in behind the forwards or as an inside forward. Um, I'm going to, I'm kind of using him as a right winger just because he's good dribbling and half decent crossing. Um, good flair. You know, he's for certain midfielders. I prefer them to have like good vision and decision making, so I'd, I I would prefer not to play him there. So he's going to be used as a right a right sided player. <coughs> we have Mattia Caldara, who's a centre back. He's so absolutely he's really solid actually. He's, uh, in the friendlies, he's looked quite good, um, and in the and in the sorry the Coppa Italia qualifiers. So we signed him on a Bosman as well. We've really been restricted to free transfers because of our financial situation. We're still about three and a half million in debt. We can't really seem to shift that debt, um, which is why being promoted is going to be important. Um, I'm not seeing that. I'm not saying we're going to get promoted this season, but it has to happen soon. I would say. Um, we signed Nicolo Baloni, who is. He's a right sided player, but he's left footed. He's like an inside forward. But we don't play with the attacking midfield like the the, the attacking wingers. We play more as a flat four four two. So he's gonna play on the right hand side of the midfield as a wide playmaker. Um Nicolo Baloney, you can see there, he has fourteen dribbling, you know, uh passing We'll have a look at it quickly. This highlights stats there. You've got 13 first touch, 13 passing, 14 techniques. So they're kind of good good in all the right places. Um, he's impressed me in the Copa Italia qualifiers, which has been good. Uh, that wide playmaker position is very, it's a very useful very useful role we have when you're playing a 4 4 2, uh, flat 4 4 2, because it goes against the, the conventional 4 4 2. The way that people teams defend against it, so it's kind of gives your opponent something to think about when you get a winger drifting in um, from a deeper position than what an inside forward would. Forward would. Um, you got we seen Stefano Padovan, who I don't know if anybody has ever heard of him before, but I'd heard of him from a few football managers ago. Uh, he is he's an ex Juventus player. Um, he's let me have a quick look at him. He's, he's history. 
he was a he's a Juventus player like a while ago. He never actually played for him, as you can see here, uh, in the league anyway. But um, if I remember correctly, he was kind of a highly touted youngster in one of the older like, older FMs. But uh, I'm for, apparently apparently nothing's come of him. <laughs> Um, but for us, for us in the Serie B, he's looking quite good. He's a good striker. I think he's going to be good for us. He's played well in the. He scored a goal for us in the the Coppa Italia qualifiers. I think he. I think he's got to be really good. I really do. Got high work rate. Um. So if we're ever looking to deploy a deploy one of the defensive forward, I think he can do that as well. We have signed. Gaspar Iniguez is an Argentinian centre midfielder. He looks really good. He looks really good. I'm very happy with that signing. Uh, he's got the good physical attributes there. He's got good mental attributes, and he's got kind of very like, quite decent defensive midfielding attributes. But he's a box to box midfielder because he's physical attributes as well, and the hard work great. Uh, bravery is good, you know, but he's still got half decent attacking ones there, like dribbling, finishing the first touch, they're not the worst. Uh, he's gonna be an, he's gonna be a really important player for us in the quiz. We've got Satellino, the goalkeeper that we had on loan last season. We got him back on loan again. And then we've got in Gennaro Mariliano. Uh, he's a left back. Um he's just his cover, but he's he says he's an inverted wing back, but I, I think he can get away with playing as a full back. Um, again, he's really good. Um, it's going to be between. Uh, it's going to be between Mariliano and Albano. I think to be playing the, the left back slot this season. And so yeah, that's really all the transfers that we've that we've got on the line now. We've had offers for Ajeti, who actually, if anybody's been watching the Euros. We'll know that he's actually a pretty half decent uh, centre back. I've been watching the Euros and he impressed me when he played for it when I watched the Albania game the other day against Romania. Uh, he really impressed me in that game and, and against France uh, as well. So I think I think he's a good player in real life, but he's he's quite good for us in this game. He's gonna he's gonna do well for us, I think. Um, so now we've got the transfers out of the way. We'll have a very like a quick quick brief look at the league who we're going to be up against this season um, you know if you look at the, there's a few not, notable teams there like Frosinone um, this is just teams that have been in this area recently like Frosinone Sassuolo Verona um, and guys like, like teams that have played in the past like Catanzaro uh, Empoli are there as well Not they're, they're no mugs either um, you know, Novara is a team we've played before, and so there's quite there's a few good teams there. There's a few good teams in this league. I can see is, um, I can see is avoiding relegation definitely. I think we could maybe finish mid table this season, um, but you never know with uh, with the right with the right performances. If the pl if the players get used to this formation, that I like to play the high pressing counter, uh, high pressing attacking formation. These players could kind of. I think the players they've got the right players in to play the system, so you never know. You never know what might happen. We'll have a quick look at the our schedule before we get into anything. We last season, what I didn't know was that the winner of the league, uh, the winner of the the Serie C. There's like the Serie C is into three divisions, like Serie C A, Serie C B, Serie C C. Um and whoever finishes top of the three the three sections go into a Serie C Super Cup, which I didn't know. It's like a mini league sort of thing. We lost <laughs> we lost both our games in that and we only scored one goal, so we won't really bother showing you those the highlights for those. But we finished bottom of that mini league. Um I had no idea. That, that that happened, um, so it was a surprise to me. However, we will show you the goals for these games: Taranto and Perugia, which are the the qualifying rounds for the Italian Cup. 
and we won those two games and we have been drawn against Cesena in the fourth qualifying round so uh, our, um, our pre-season went pretty well we played Sampdoria in Dortmund we only lost 2-0 to Dortmund 2-1 uh, to Sampdoria and we won the rest of them and in fact well, we drew 3 each with Carpi which is a, not a bad result either away from home against a Serie A side so we'll, uh, we'll get in we'll quickly have a quick look at these goals for these two games and then we'll get into we'll get into the match against Catanzaro alright so we've got Insignia picking the ball up there in, in the middle of the park plays out wide to Rosato Rosato gets the ball in but kind of misses Dabro and Insignia comes in the six yard box slots at home nice easy yeah. goal corner from Fiordalino gets the ball whipped in and Kaldara knocks it in the front post nice and easy set piece makes it 2-0 a corner here Fiordalino whips it in again a jetty at the back post heads it in goalkeeper and the guy in the post can't do anything about it and that makes it 3-1 Gasparoni there into Insignia Insignia back to Belloni Belloni cuts inside from the right hand side and he just takes a run Puts it in the far away bottom corner. Keeper's got no chance. 4 1. So and you go there. Plays out to Belloni. Out wide to Bandini. Bandini gets a cross in. Mazzullo at the back post. Keeper makes a save. But Padovan reacts before De Gennaro does. Makes it 5 1 to Parma. And another debut. Can throw goal. in here. Camiliano does a bullet throw into the box. Headed clear. But Bandini takes a long ball in. And Padovan gets there. The keeper's flat. I don't know what he's doing. But, uh, I think Padovan's put him off and Bandini's got the goal. So it's 6-1 and that's the way the game finished. We went into the next round from there. So we'll get into the next next highlights. So we're 2-0 down at this point in the match. 65 minutes into the game. So we're breaking away here from their throw-in. Belloni played it to Padovan. Into Insignia. Back into Belloni. There's a bit of battle there. Castro picks it up, plays it out way to the saddle. Takes his man on, gets the ball in. And Insignia knocks it in from the front post, makes it 2-1. And we're back in the We've game. We've got Mariliano there, back to Bassi. Plays it out wide to Belloni. Goes in, goes into the corner for Insignia, but it's headed away. But it's played back in again. Insignia gets the ball in, headed clear. And then there's a bit of a mix-up there at the back. And Gasparoni just drives in and gets the ball. And then the back of the net makes it 2 each. Uh, and then it goes to penalty shootout from We've got the penalty shootout here and Senior with the first penalty for us puts it right down the middle 1-0 to Parma then Russotto puts it in goalkeeper doesn't move 1-1 uh, and we've got Caldara stepping up for a second penalty puts it into the top top right hand corner keeper can do nothing about it easy finish Valotti with their second penalty saved by the goalkeeper uh, we're two one up now. Kalkani comes up to take our third penalty. He stands there for ages, not doing anything because the game's stalled a little bit. <laughs> um, the highlights stalled to. I hate it when it does this because it just makes makes things difficult for me. I need to just keep talking to keep you interested. It's a nightmare. Come on, can you take it? He puts it down there, puts it right down the left, 3-1 to Parma. And we've got Lucci there, runs up to take it, keeper saves it, finishes. Um, they can then win the free score here. So Gasparoni takes his penalty right down the middle, 4-1 to Parma, and there's no coming back All right, that. so we've got everything else out of the way now. Now we've got the meat and bones of, this, of the episode. First game of the season in the Serie B against Catanzaro away from home. Quick look at the lineup. We've got David Bassi retained from last season. He's staying in goals. We've got Bandini still at right back for us. Camiliano, uh, he's now been partnered in defence, but with uh, Mattia Caldara. Um, so he takes Tonucci's place. We've got Albono there at left back. In right midfield we have Baloney, who's our kind of sort of inside forward, but he's like a he plays a deeper a deeper role than that. We've actually still got him as a winger, but I'm going to change him just now. Um, 
we've got Gasparoni in there, uh, and we have Enigwes now partnering him um, rather than Fiordalino. But Fiordalino's on the bench. We've got Masulo on the left wing, uh, and up top we've got Insignia still playing up there. But we have got Marco Dabro still. We still have him. Um, he's been brought back. He's his loan. His loan deal has been extended by another season. But his pre-season didn't start very well. And Stefano Padovan looked a little bit better than him in pre-season. So we're going to go with Padovan and Insignia instead of Dabro. Uh, so we'll get into the match and we'll see it kick so off. here we are, right. eight minutes in and we have a first highlight of the match. Oh, the highlights are going a little bit fast, do a wee second. But I've got a goal there. We're going to have to look at that again because <laughs> the highlights were going quite fast there. Let's uh, start that highlight again. So we've got the ball in there, we've got Insignia, picks it up, plays it to Padovan, a good strike from Padovan there, um, it's 1-0, that's a great start to the season actually, we've got um, Alborno here with a throw in inside to Neguez, back to Alborno, goes up the line to Masulo, can he get a ball in, no, he gets dispossessed, Scapanello goes long for Mora, but Caldara picks up nice and easy, plays him back to Bassi, Bassi to Camiliano, the way to Belloni, he's gonna surely he's gonna go to Bandini there. No, he keeps driving inside. He plays out way to Masulo. Gets the ball in for Iniguez. Can he get a ball in? Back to Gasparoni. Out way to Bandini. Can he get a ball in? Oh, he plays it to Belloni. What a pass that wasn't. It's a easy save for the goalkeeper Pisseri. Pisseri. Eh, Pisseri. Sorry, Pisseri. <laughs> Sounds like an alcoholic. Pisseri. Sorry. <laughs> um, fuck it. We'll just call him Pisseri. Alborno gets the ball in there, Elan up long to Mora, Mora to G Giannone, Ilari, Agnello, and it's a good save by Bassi, and we have a corner for Catanzaro now, Scapanello gets it in, headed back out, and it's another corner for Catanzaro, we're taking a bit of pressure here, we're under the cosh, Scapanello gets the ball in, headed clear but Scalacci picks it up, and it comes to nothing. Thank God for oh, that. Iniguez there. He plays it inside to Padovan. Out way to Masulo gets a ball in. Oh, and Masulo gets in there and it's 2 0. Get in there. I didn't see that coming at all. We were under the cosh for a fair bit there. Alright, well, sometimes you've just got to take your chances, haven't you? Masulo gets the ball in there and it's been cleared away and Sinya tries to get to it, but Priola gets the tackle in. And Masulo's first to react, and he puts it into the far away right hand corner. 2 0 to Parma. Get two there. minutes into the game now, we're almost at half time. We've got a throw in here for Scalacci. Uh, and Senya heads it away, but Piscina picks it up. And oh, Gasparoni wins the ball, plays it to Insignia. Long ball for Padavan, but Orchi picks it up, plays it back to Pissheady. Uh, Calvarese plays it long to Giannone, but Caldera wins the header. Scapanello to Agnello. Giannone now. Back the way to Priola. I'm happy for him to keep playing it back the way. Agnello, what's he going to do now? He plays to Giannone. Can he get a ball? He gets the ball out. This is dangerous now. Scalacci gets the ball there. And we've just dealt with it. That's good. Calvarese, let's get them playing back the way again, guys. Oh, come on. Calvarese gets the ball in and it's a ah, terrible defending. No one picking the guy up there. They're on, they're on the midfielder. Elari gets the ball. So look at this. Out wide to Calvarese, gets the ball in and he's unmarked at the front post and the goalkeeper's got to do better there really as well. I think all all, uh, all round it's a, it's a poor goal to lose, especially just before the break. We want to hold on to that 2-0 lead there really. Um, Bandini now picks it up. Tell me we're not going to lose another goal here. Camiliano to Gasparoni, inside to Insignia and he gives a poor, poor cross through past there. Very poor. Giannone now, Mora. Oh, come on, man, come on. Terrible Carlo Elari again. And that's absolutely terrible. All we have to do there is keep the ball. And, and Senior's giving it away with a poor cross through pass. He doesn't have to try and play that pass. But poor defending again. And it's 2 2 at half time. How did that happen? Oh, well. <sighs> You're going to have to give him a wee bit of a kick up the arse, I think. That's the. It's the only way I do with poor, perform poor performances. Like I mean, we played, we, we took our chances. We really didn't we? We did take our chances, but 
they've been piss poor there in the, fa the last five minutes of the second half, uh, the first half, sorry. Um, I'll give them a bit of bollock and and we'll get to the we'll get to the second half. All right, we've got Bandini here with the throw in. Goes to Insignia, gets the ball in, but it's headed away by Priola. Agnello goes long. We've got Caldara picks it up, plays it back to Alborno. Away to Masolo, but it's a poor ball in there. Archie picks up Giannone to Scapanello. Morris through in goal, and he just ruins he just ruins Bassi there, and it's this three two now. After such a good start as well. Replay there, Mora's through and go with just a long ball. And what is Bassi doing there? He's just. He's just. I don't even know what he's doing. He just came out and stood still. Never even made a decision. Terrible. Terrible goalkeeping. Terrible defending. Oh, come on. We're, we're giving away so much. So much space in behind there. I think we're going to have to drop a little bit deeper. Calvarese there. Agnello. Out back out way to Calvarese. Back to Agnello. Gets the ball to Giannone. Out way to Calvarese. Come on, guys. Let's get the ball back here. Giannone hits a shot. Bassi. What is he doing there? What is he doing? 4 2. I've absolute, made an absolute cunt of this one. Absolute cunt of this game. 2 0 up. And we're 4 2 down now. Fucking hell. Actually, I did mean, did mean to say it actually. We've brought in Marco Dabro for Insignia. And Kilcani has come on for Gasparoni. And Lucas Castro has come on for Belloni. Dolph these subs here. We're going gung ho. We went over low. Bandini there. We've gets the ball back to Kilcani and he built Bandini. But Archie picks it up. Plays it to Mora. Giorgetti. But Caldara picks, picks that out nice and easy. Albano plays a ball up for Dabro. And it's tackled, tackled easily by Calvarese. And it goes into Scapanello there and Epicina. Ball over the top for Mora again. We're not dealing with that guy very well today. And Bandini, eh, sorry, Bassi doesn't deal with it either. Calvarese now gets a ball in there for Mora. Calvarese gets a ball in for Piscina. And it's 5 2, and it's all over now. Fucking absolutely, I'm disgusted with the way we've defended here. These guys are getting absolutely pounded in training, I tell you that right now. They'll be going to be getting high intensity defensive training uh, over the next couple, like next few weeks, that's for sure. Terrible defending. Just not picking men up in the box. It's not good enough. That's definitely not good enough. Go on, make it six. Cricciati, oh, tackle. And it's five to full time. Uh, and the defensive ratings there say it all really um, we just collapsed defensively in the second half well we collapsed before the second half really um, those two goals fucking I think just spurred those th th their players on and kind of uh, there was nothing we could really do after that um, so we'll just there's no point in being angry with them I'll we'll just they know they know that they weren't good enough Defensively, they were poor. So I'm going to give give the team talk here, individual team talks. We'll we'll get to the results and that. We'll, we'll see where we're going to come back. All right, yeah, the fixtures, and then we'll see where we're so going to come back. That defeat sees us second from bottom uh, after the first game. So <sighs> we've got a next match against Novara, which is on television. Um, I'm going to think I want to I want to play the next game at home. To hopefully give us a chance of winning on a live com. Uh, so we'll play Latina. Um, we'll play Latina in our next live com. So there's four games in between that. Yeah, four games in between that. We'll play Latina in our next live com. Uh, so thanks for watching. Very disappointing way to start the new season. Uh, after being two goals up, losing 5 2. I mean, nothing I can really say about that other than just sheer disappointment but thanks for watching again hit the like button um, subscribe if you haven't already and check the description for the Facebook and Twitter links alright guys thanks for watching take care bye bye